What up guys, Matt Long6 here today. I'm gonna to be helping you guys flash your Nebra Outdoor Miner. This is a power over ethernet, so that's why this is plugged in here. I had to get a long ethernet to keep it connected. <laughs> so basically we're going to be flashing this together i've never done it before i'm going to walk through all the uh step on the support article that was suggested to me by uh, never support team and then we're also going to make sure it works now in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it using windows if you need to see how to do it with linux or mac then definitely check out the PDF that the support agent should have sent you. And I'll also leave a link to it in the description down below. Remember, never flash your uh, helium hotspot unless you're instructed to by a representative of the maker of your hotspot. Obviously, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is open it up, which you'll need an Allen wrench for. Now you'll just need to undo all four of these. I've already done that. Number five works in my set. Let's go ahead and open this up and unplug it. So one thing you're going to need is a micro SD cord. So I got that handy. Let's put that to the side here. So next we need to locate the daughter board and change the jumper settings to download mode. So in order to do that, you're going to take these things right here. And this is JP3 right here. And we need to short it by putting it on both of them instead of just that one. There we go. And then you need to take the JP4 right here and it should be on one and two, but we need to move it to two and three and it should look like that. So now what you're going to need to do is power the daughter board by itself. So this is the daughter board right here, this blue thing, and that's what we need to power. So in order to do that, I normally unplug this and then plug in the micro SD right in there. So another thing you could do is remove the whole thing and do this, but we're just going to do this. I'm going to plug it directly into my computer. So there you go. The blue light has turned on the green light turned on. They're solid. They aren't blinking. That's how you know you did it correctly. Okay. So now what you're going to need to do is download the windows installer to install the drives for the boot tool. After that, go ahead and open it and then set it up. And you can see it's starting to work. Sweet, so now it's done. So after a few seconds, the compute module EMMC here will pop up under Windows as a disk. If you go to this PC and then refresh, it's right here, it's resin boot right here. So this is everything inside your Helium hotspot right now. So the next thing you're gonna need to do is download Belina Etcher. Uh, if I said that right now, I already have this installed, so I'm not going to install it again. So now you're going to need to download the firmware, which the support agent should have uh, sent you a link to, but link in the description if not. And then I'll bring you to this page. We are using the Never Outdoor Hotspot, so go ahead and click that and then click download. Once you get it, there's no need to unzip it, just leave it zipped. And then what you're going to want to do is select that in the etcher. So in the flash from file, you want to select what you just downloaded and then select target. Now make sure you select the right target. So it's going to be compute module right here. Drive E as we saw earlier when we click this PC. Let's go ahead and click select. After that, click flash. So if you did everything right, it should be flashed. You should be good to go and everything should be done. Don't forget to button up, which we're going to do here in a second once this is done flashing. Hey guys, before we continue on, just want to let you know if you're interested in, in upgrading your Helium hotspot in order to start mining mobile instead of just the IoT tokens, then definitely consider going to Cosmic Equipment where they have a whole plethora of different deep end devices that you could go buy and start earning passive income today. Use code MATLONG6 to get 3% off and use the link in the description to get an additional 20 pounds off your first order if you sign up for the rewards program with my link down below. Or if you're outside the US, then consider going to Cowchip because they have a whole bunch of Helium things and other deep end devices to check out over there. Anyways, guys, thank you for liking and subscribing. Hey, it's finishing. It's almost done. Let's go. Hey, it's finished. What does it say? Flash complete. Everything's done. We are good. 
It says successfully target. Everything's good. Perfect. Now you can safely unplug the micro USB and then replug this thing in if you unplugged it. And then it's very important that you put the jumpers back where they originally were. So that means the JP3 here needs to be taken out and just put onto only one of them. And then the JP4 needs to be put on number one and number two. So everything's buttoned up here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into power real quick just to make sure everything's powered and working correctly. Yep, everything looks good. That looks a little cockeyed, so I'll put that in a little bit better. It looks pretty good. So let me um, go ahead and shut it. And then next I'm gonna need to screw in all four of these again. And there you have it. Now, do not unplug your hotspot. It needs to be about five minutes of plugged in so that way it can process everything because to this hotspot, it's basically like the first time it's ever been turned on now that it's been flashed with the new firmware. So definitely keep that in mind. That's why I'm gonna leave it plugged in for the rest of this. I will make an update right now if there were any issues whatsoever, but if there was no video right there, then you can safely assume that everything went according to plan. This is working on the people's network again, earning me some uh, internet of things tokens. And the whole thing took me about 45 minutes to complete from start to finish for this video it wasn't that difficult especially since i already know what i'm doing and that i've already flashed an original hotspot before so i knew a little bit what i was getting into that's why i had the etcher already downloaded if you are curious about helium definitely guys subscribe because i talk about helium all the time i talk about announcements tips tricks with the helium hotspot and i also have a demo and a hive mapper if you guys would like to see how to earn passive income just by driving your car and once a month here i do a monthly crypto live stream where i share with you guys how much money i actually earn along with my experience with all these passive income devices thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions about helium and i'll see you guys next time and as always stay safe trade safe and god bless peace through my and some tips and tricks and some tip and some trips and tips